it fellas so first of all you need to be right inside your search panel of your windows and you need to search for nvidia once you type nvidia you will first of all need to go right inside the nvidia app so once you're right inside the nvidia app you need to navigate to drivers once you're right inside the drivers you need to select this drop down and make sure you select the studio driver because it provides the best experience for the creative apps which includes Premiere Pro. If you do not see the studio driver, you can also go with the game ready driver. That's fine too. And once you are done applying these settings, you again need to go to search and you need to search for Nvidia control panel. Once you see the Nvidia control panel, you need to click on this. And once you are right inside the Nvidia control panel, we need to apply the settings to make sure Premiere Pro uses GPU while rendering. So first of all, you need to go to adjust image settings with preview. And you need to click on use the advanced 3d image settings and click on apply in the bottom right section of the screen once you're done you need to go to configure surround physics and you need to make sure the processor is selected as your gpu once you're done you need to go to manage 3d settings once you're right inside we need to go to the program settings so that we can apply the settings to the premiere pro specifically once you're right inside make sure you select this option show only programs found on this computer and once you're done you need to click this drop down and make sure you select your adobe premiere pro in this case i have 2025 version i will select this one if you are unable to trace the premiere pro 2025 you can click on add and you can find the premiere pro 2025 from this list as you can see i can find the adobe premiere pro 2025 if still you are unable to find it you can click on browse you can specify the path where your premiere pro is located you can go to this pc you can go to local disk c you can go to program files adobe and then adopt premiere pro 2025 once you're right inside you need to specify the application file with the icon pr and once you're done you can open once you click on open the premiere pro will be loaded into the programs to customize now we will apply the best nvidia control panel settings for the premiere pro 2025 for the image scaling you can go with on and make sure the sharpness is at 15 percent and you need to click on ok for the any dropping filtering you can go with 4x for the anti-aliasing fx double a you can go with on you can ignore the gamma correction and mode you can also leave the transparency and uh, maximum frame rates you need to select the coda gpus as your gpu make sure you select your gpu as you have installed on your pc you need to click on ok for the system fallback policy this is for the coda you can go with driver default you can ignore the low latency mode you can adjust the max frame rate to on and keep it at its maximum. You can ignore the monitor technology for the multi frame sampled AAMFAA. You can go with on. For the OpenGL GDA compatibility, this is very important. You need to select prefer performance. For the OpenGL rendering GPU, you need to select your graphics card from this list. For the power management mode, we want the maximum power so that Premiere Pro can work seamlessly. We would go with prefer maximum performance. But if you see any options, you can go with opt optimal power or adaptive. For now, let us go with maximum power. For the texture filtering negative value bias, you can go with clamp. And for the texture filtering any dropping sample optimization, you can go with on. For the texture filtering quality, make sure it is selected as high performance. For the trilinear optimization, make sure it is on. For the threaded optimization, make sure it is also on. And keep everything as it is. So once you're done. Make sure you head over to right bottom of the screen and click on apply. One important point to discuss if you face any issues restarting the Premiere Pro or black screen or unable to preview, you can ignore all the settings except CUDA GPUs, make sure it is all, make sure the system fallback policy is driver default and open GLGD compatibility is performance and open GL GPU rendering is also selected as GPU, nothing else. You can ignore all the settings only apply these four settings that's fine now let us head over to premiere pro for the gpu excitation setting you can again go to the search bar of your windows and you need to search for premiere pro once you type premiere pro you will need to open up your premiere pro 2025 and as you can see this is the premiere pro 2025 so first of all you need to go to the edit then you need to go to the preferences and you need to select the general all right fellas so once you're right inside make sure you go to the media and you need to make sure you have H.264 both of these options are selected this is for the decoding and this is for the encoding it will use your NVIDIA GPU and next you need to go to the memory and make sure installed memory is 16 GB in my case you might have a different case 
but you need to make sure RAM reserved for other application is the minimum. You can drag this slider to the left so that maximum RAM can be allocated to the Premiere Pro to optimize the performance. Once you are done, click on OK. Next, you need to go to the file and you need to navigate to project settings and you need to navigate to general. Once you are right inside, you need to select the render as Mercury Engine GPU Acceleration CUDA. You can have OpenCL or OpenGL here, but I recommend to go with the GPU Acceleration CUDA because it is provided by the NVIDIA. And the last but not the least is the export settings. You can go to export. Once you have finalized your editing, you can go to the video and make sure you click on this option more and click on use maximum render quality and render at maximum depth. The most important setting is the encoding settings. You need to select the performance as the hardware encoding. And once you apply these settings, your Premium Pro will be completely optimized for the GPU acceleration. And that's it. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. I will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day.